damn it, man. I heard the People's Revolutionary Army was once a thousand strong. Now, what happened? They got government jobs. Well, what do we have here? Pierce Morgan, the guy who pushed the vaccine and pushed people and tried to turn people who refused to get it into pariahs versus Andrew Tate, a person that I tend to agree with more often than not. So uh, let's see what these guys are talking about. This was a front page of the Sun newspaper. This if story. that same man called a transgender person the wrong pronouns, he would be in trouble. Right. So doesn't it just show absolute, how absolutely asinine and banal our legal system has become? That would never happen in a country like the Arab Emir United Arab Emirates, the place I'm now residing in Dubai, where the leadership has common sense. And I'm saying that all the leadership structures, doesn't matter if it's labor or conservative, across all of it in this nation have completely and utterly failed. Sadiq Khan is a loser. Because when you have a city which is losing... Which, which London is, is losing in all, very, in all metrics across its competitive cities around the world, and you're in charge of it, by extension, you're a loser. I will tell you right now, instead of virtue signaling and giving Qatar a hard time over their religious beliefs, what we should be doing is a treaty with Qatar to build a prison deep in the desert. Give me, make me mayor of London. We'll make a prison deep in the desert. And if you're caught with a knife or robbing someone, you can go do 25 years with one meal a day in the, in the scorching sun. And that- okay, Andrew, let's... Uh- Once again, there's a reason why I find myself agreeing with you, but then as soon as you cross a line, I'm like, okay, look, man, I'm not willing to throw people into the middle of the desert over holding a knife. All right, like, like, just take it easy with that level of authoritarianism, but he's not wrong, and there's something I want to point out to you. It's actually taking place in France right now that I'm going to show to you, but the main crux of what they're discussing right now is uh, immigration, the immigration policies, and what Andrew's not saying when he's talking about um, leadership that has common sense, leadership with testosterone. Guys, I've been saying this since you know, Biden took office since before Biden took office, like we are under a very estrogenic, very feminist, uh, rule, uh, like, you know, saying rule. And we are under the, th- the, th- the, the thumb of estrogen because estrogen is what about the feelings and things that, that don't make, um, logical sense, including the transgenderism that was discussed at the, at the beginning that you can get penalized for because, oh yeah, you misgendered somebody. Like you really didn't, you refuse to play in somebody else's mental illness. Sure. But yeah, uh, he is, he's on point up to a point. And then what we'll do is we'll put cameras there and we'll interview you once a week and broadcast that out to the nation and see if you change your mind and make people understand that this is a country that should be respected and our law should be respected. Instead, what happens? What has Sadiq or any of the people in charge of this country actually done to fix any of our issues besides sit around and talk? And you can literally just remove, take away that K and put an S there and it's the exact same shit because there's these, there's global interest who have really spent the past 40, 50 years um, culturally and politically creating these bubbles for the um, elected and elite classes to exist in, while, you know, regular people are the ones that end up catching the short end of the stick as long as they adhere to this Marxist slash globalist ideology, which I've we've warned about a million and three times let's keep going nothing none of them have done anything but they seem ultra concerned with finding money for proxy wars ultra concerned with rainbow flags in another country that is uninterested in them and their priority yeah 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 the world cup with qatar and everybody's like oh my goodness qatar like no they have a different way of life and one of the things particularly back in what i grew up on what i was raised on was respecting other people's way of lives not oh well we have to change them it was like somewhere um you know particularly during i want to say the 90s and early 2000s there was a huge shift from um you know like uh okay yeah you do you over there but we'll do us over here to you have to do what we do over here and i think it was all really exasperated through the pandemic like exasperated or exacerbated i don't remember whatever i i can mess up words every once in a while too Priorities are completely messed up. Of course the ambulance people are. Of course the ambulance drivers are striking. Of course the nurses are striking. Nobody cares about the most important things in this nation. It's a failing country in real time. And here's the thing. They're not even giving nowhere near the money our country is giving when it comes to freaking the proxy war of uh, what's taking place in Ukraine right now. But as I said, I want to shoot on over to France right quick. I want to take you guys on a trip 
to 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 the to the land of baguettes and you know oh my goodness this is France <laughs> I got to say that all of the gentlemen in this crowd seem as if they are truly the great Frenchman that, um, you know, we, that the, the French are well renowned for, you know. We are now renowned for our cigarettes and our wine and our, and our croissants. But, you know, for some strange reason, these people who, you know, may or may not speak the beautiful language of French, Monsieur, they, they are, uh, they, they, they well in for cow. <laughs> Let's be real. Is this any different? Than, oh, okay, I'm sorry. I can't keep up the first thing. But <laughs> is this any different than a freaking BLM riot? I mean, this this feels... I mean, with the exception of uh, those who are doing most of the damage. Because, I mean, hey, at least here in the United States, uh, our rioters were definitely uh, white. I mean, if you want to put a, put put numbers to, to the shit, uh, our rioters were white. I mean, like, they at least looked like they could be from the, from the States. Uh, this... This feels like uh, something that came in that maybe Pierre was not particularly prepared, nor uh, asking fear. Yeah, so all that basically is is a run back. But yeah, that's taking place in France right now. And, you know, that weakness when it comes to crime, that weakness when it comes to immigration, that weakness when it comes to all of these different things, um, you know, it's really particularly in the West. It's come from, you know, th this 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 poison of estrogen you know what I'm saying like the feminine the oh we have to think about we have to worry about and be so concerned about people's feelings and that's really where you know what I'm saying Andrew Tate's strongest suit is because his is just like yo fuck it take it off the um take it off take take all feelings out of account to it and whereas I can appreciate that I know in 2022 you can't with so many like you know what I'm saying halfway soft soft ass soy boys running around this bitch you can't sit there and go butt so hard when it comes to solutions but yeah, hard solutions. Definitely rock, rock. It ain't gotta be fucking titanium, but it should at least be rock solid. You know what I'm saying? Solutions definitely need to be. Not, none of this sheetrock bullshit that they that they've been pushing out. You know what I'm saying? You can punch through sheetrock. What the fuck? Either ways, guys, with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff, if you like it, toss it a like. Dislike, go ahead, do that too. Don't be scared of you, sub. If you a fantastic <laughs> And YouTube, and bitch, with my brother, because fans your boy every day for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications, get something for you. Check me out, obviously, as well. Let's go in the description box and damage and speak. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Yeah, this is uh, uh, yeah, coming soon to a neighborhood near you. But the deal is that in most areas, particularly in America, um, these communities are already, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it was already done. Like, uh, trust me, we, we, we've got, we, we've gone through our bleeding. But trust me, there is also a ton of potential for even more. And we'll see how that all plays out. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next one. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer. Every breath I take without your permission raises my self-esteem.